Good evening, my fellow bats and ghouls. Welcome into my parlor. You are for to as Nub's collection. I am your host, Vampire Nub, and tonight we celebrate All Hallows Eve with a most chilling game for you to enjoy. Monster Party, released in June of 1989 by developer Human Entertainment and published by Bandai. A game so frightening, it may drain you of your blood, if I don't first. <laughs> Okay, I can't keep that accent up. Uh, hey everyone, we're doing a special Halloween episode of Nubs Collection. Uh, as I said before, we're going to look at Monster Party. Uh, it was released in 1989, uh, June of 1989, uh, more specifically. Uh, and this particular game is a little bit ahead of where we were uh, going to be in the order of games released for uh, Nintendo. But I thought it would be a fun little game to look at on Halloween since it is very much a spooky game. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started on this. Mark was walking home from a ball game. He looked up and saw a bright star. While he stared at it, the star got bigger and bigger. The beauty of the star made his eyes moist, so he didn't notice that the star fell and landed right in front of him. It wasn't a star, but a monster. Mark quickly asked, Who are you? Why wouldn't you be like, Oh my god, it's a monster. I'm going to beat it with my bat or run away. <laughs> uh, the kid apparently has nerves of steel. I'm Bert! You know, that incredibly scary monster named Bert. <laughs> What's up? I'm looking for help. Evil monsters are out of control in my world. Come and help me. I'm afraid to fight the evil monsters. Don't worry. With your weapon, You'll be able to destroy them easily. Dot. <laughs> this isn't a weapon. It's a bat. Well, guess this guy hasn't seen Casino. Bat. Batter. Anything is okay. Anyhow, let's go. Bert grabbed Mark's hand and flew away. What's your name? Mark. On the way to Monsterland, his arm became dislocated because he's getting yanked away from the ground by the arm. <laughs> Mark, my planet is dangerous. Then why didn't you just leave him there? <laughs> so, we must act together. How? Like this! Then they fuse together. That is horrifying. This is how Mark's adventure began. By losing his individuality because he got merged. Isn't that how the, the Borg work? They just kind of forcibly merge with you? So, uh, this game is very uh, twisted. That'd be a good way to put it. It's one of those games where it's like, oh, this looks like it's kind of fun. And then you get through about halfway of this first level and you realize, oh god. They had a, an idea that they wanted to follow, and they certainly followed through with it. So as you can see, uh, you can bat objects like that. And of course, when you hit them, they, they kind of fly at an angle like you're hitting a baseball. I think if you time it right, you can actually hit it right back at them. Which I didn't do. I always thought these guys kind of looked like uh, the early Beatles when they were all in their uh, nice suits and ties for some reason. Basically before they start getting heavily into drugs. <laughs> okay, just a pair of legs kicking in the air there. Let's smack him with the bat a little bit. Hello! Baby! Obviously he's supposed to be like the uh, monster from Little Shop of Horrors. 
They wear some of the uh, inspirations in this game on their uh, sleeves. Come on. This is obviously supposed to be a take on Audrey 2, except instead of a Venus Flytrap, it seems to be a pitcher plant. I'll get the timing on this right. There we go. There we go. Gotcha. So the objective in each level is there's usually, I want to say, two bosses, sometimes three, that you have to beat in order to get the key that you need to leave each round. And if you're having difficulty finishing a level, as I recall, you can continue going back and forth in an area and killing enemies so they drop health. And that entire life bar at the bottom there, you could potentially fill all the way to full. I don't think we're going to do that, because that's probably not the most compelling uh, entertainment of all time. Whoop! There we go. Uh, they got some really weird ideas in this game. Uh, one of the ideas that they seemed very enamored with was to make fried foods into an enemy. Yes, you heard that right. I am going to be fighting uh, a bunch of fried meat on a stick. Uh, at some point, I believe there's a shrimp that I have to fight. And at one point, uh, not to ruin too much of the fun, there is an enemy that's, uh... Well, you don't have to do much to kill him. <laughs> we'll see when I get to him. I might even be in this level. I'm not sure. Alright, I'm just gonna kill him. Come here. There we go. Also, the, uh, the merging, uh, that occurred at the beginning of the game there with the, uh, the story setup. Uh, there's a reason for that, and you're seeing it right now. You can actually become Bert. Fly and he has like a beam attack that he can shoot. Unfortunately, it's not uh, permanent. It only lasts for a couple of seconds here, and then he'll start flashing and turn back empty. Simple fight. And we're not too far away from the uh, the part where the game goes from oh fun adventure to oh my god. Lose my transformation. Ooh. Yeah, I think those are damage, uh, those spikes there. Ah, it's over. I tell you what, I don't know if this is just because there's low gravity on the planet, but this kid's got some insane ups. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dead. They're not joking. He's dead. <laughs> That's it. That's all it takes. You just stand there and he, he dies. Well, I guess he's already dead, but you know what I'm saying. So I don't know if the same enemy always drops health and the same enemy always drops the pill that transforms you, but uh, we'll check all the enemies. That's going to ground level. Shoot me. Or not. That's weird. That was one hit. Alright, so. Cool looking cactus. Oh my god. <laughs> and things take a turn for the dark. And disturbing. Yes, those are skulls dripping with blood in the background. And foreground. I have no idea what that is. Okay, human being and dog merged into one. You can see why I thought this would make a good game for Halloween. Uh, good lord. And everything changed. Even the gateways are, are now pretty uh, dark looking. Disturbing. I made this game for kids. Kids. Uh, we could stand here. We could try to bat the pumpkins back. We could chase after him. It's probably better to chase after him because the speed that he moves, if you get it right, you can just start laying into him with the baseball bat while he's walking by. But uh, of course, I screwed up the timing on it. There we go. 
Oops, I uh, screwed up. There we go. And I got the key. So, uh, yeah, it is three enemies, I guess, every every level. Or bosses, rather. Oh, look at that. I don't know you can do that. I'm not 100% certain. I think you might lose what uh, excess of health you have at the end of the level. Okay, can't jump on that. It's all right. Uh oh! Whoa! Oh, oh, that could have been bad. Uh, I don't think going indoors after you finish three bosses that necessarily gives you anything. I oh, will check anyway. No, I didn't hit him. Gotcha. All right. So these can also represent health or pills if you grab them. There. Question marks. No guarantee on what it'll be. Alright, come on, guy. Oh. Interesting choice of the pupil is uh, see through. So, since we're playing a game based on uh, monsters and spooky things and we're playing it on Halloween, uh, probably should talk a little bit Halloween. Uh, it was probably one of my favorite hol uh, holidays, excuse me, uh, when I was growing up. I don't know if it's uh, necessarily something you take as much interest in once you become an adult, uh, especially if you don't have kids, which I don't have any kids. But uh, uh, when I was younger, uh, my favorite two Halloween costumes, and I was, I guess, a really boring kid because I always picked like the same two, uh, were either uh, Dracula or uh, I like playing the Grim Reaper playing. Dressing as Grim Reaper. So yes, there is a password system in this game. Not gonna worry too much about that. If I die, I die. That sounded like Ivan uh, Drago from uh, Rocky IV. If he dies, he dies. I think you can hit those. Yep. Oh, get the health. You can weaponize everything in this game. As far as uh, candy that I always preferred, uh, at Halloween, I think the ones that I always preferred were like uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. When I was younger, I liked Butterfingers a lot, but uh, that did not stay the same forever. I have a choice between uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and Butterfingers. I don't think I have any contest anymore. I prefer... I'm going to get up close with this guy. Oh, he's throwing them right at my feet now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Woo! Die! I need you to die! <laughs> All right, we're in trouble. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I've always been a big peanut butter guy. Thankfully, I'm not allergic to peanuts, so... Oh, that's not the end of the game. Continue. All right, yeah, you just start the level. Level over. You want know, to set it forward, you got to get it right on the tip of the bat. Oh, shoot. Uh, nowadays, I'd say, yeah, uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are, are probably still one of my favorites, but... Uh, uh, I do also like peanut butter without the chocolate some, so I would say uh, probably like a, a nice payday. It's uh, the peanuts with the caramel and uh, a little bit of salt on it. It's nice. Got it. Oh, come on. You gonna shoot him at me again or what? There it goes. What? Got him. Yeah, if you manage to hit the enemy with the uh, projectile... Uh, it usually is a one-hit kill on most enemies, except for the bosses. I'm gonna try to get past them! Ah, oh, it doesn't work. I was hoping this would, uh, give me a, a, a shot at him without taking damage. Gotcha. Give me some health. Or nothing. Yeah, sometimes the uh, question marks don't actually let you pick them up. Don't know why. 
I guess they thought it was uh, extra ghoulish. Is this thing supposed to be vomiting blood, or is he just yawning? <laughs> there we go. Uh, if you move fast enough, I think there is a way to ke keep him in Bert form indefinitely. Which again, one of the lamest monster names ever. I am Bert. get it, I want to try to get to the boss room as Bert, because he can really destroy people. Oh, am I not going to there in time? Yeah, I'm going to change back. There it goes. Hope he drops another pill. No. Whoa, I don't know where that came from. Empty. Just points. Disappointing. And apparently someone was uh, really a big fan of the spooky nature of putting uh, weird animals on top of human legs. Uh, legs that also kind of have a, a sex appeal to them, I guess. <laughs> oh, look at that. Swatted the, the bubble right back in his face. There we go. Alright, two doors down there. Well, there's one that I can go to right now. Fortunately, as far as I know, there are no secret passages or special bonus rooms or anything like that, so... Uh, all you can do is just follow the base path and try not to die. Boy, they just never seem to last long enough. And by the time I get to this room, I'm going to lose the power again. Ooh, I got some health from them, though. Right on the tip. Yeah, here we go. We're going to start fighting some uh, fried foods now. <laughs> Look out, baby. Here I come. Timing right, you just kind of follow behind these jumpers. Ah, I missed it. Ah, not in ring. Ah, oh boy. Better be it! I don't have enough health for anything else. Ow! I don't remember this game being that tough. <laughs> also, I think part of that is, like I said before, uh, I also was probably very big on farming for health before I uh, went into encounters, so... They gave you the option, do it. Heck, we may do that this time to see if I can get through the second round. I'd hate to have to finish this game after only a uh, two-level run. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Let's go ahead and pad out my health if I can. Oh. Help if I got the tip of the bat on it. There we go. Yeah, see, they. Uh, it looks like certain enemies just drop all of the items. Oh, come on. Do that one more time. I'm not gonna sit here all day doing that. Gotcha. Thank you. Alright. Come here. This 
suppose it would be appropriate also to have a quick chat about uh, spooky movies and which ones are my favorite. Monster movies or uh, monster characters, I guess, in, in movies and stuff. Um, you know, I was never really the biggest uh, scary movie guy. Um, I liked the original Scream when it came out. I was a big fan of that one. Uh, other than that, uh, I don't know if any really come to mind that are, like, uh, all all-time favorites of scary movies. Uh, well, that said, I think I did enjoy The Ring quite a bit. Obviously, I'm listing movies that were out when I was a kid, but, uh, or not a kid, but in the case of The Ring, I guess I was a teenager at that point. But even then, I go back and, and look at uh, The Ring, and, and really the, the two scariest things about that movie were the two people that got 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 by uh, the girl. That one was horror of the mind, I guess. Psychological horror? I don't know what Come on, die. Die, 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 die. I need to die. Hey, I got another one. Cool. Alright, so that room did not have anything. Let's just keep right on moving. Take the health, thank you. Alright, we're in much better shape than we were last time we got here. That guy it just takes way too much damage to uh, get rid of. Alright, good. So, there was nothing in the room down below, but there was a boss in that room there. We want to get back to that as fast as we can so that we can utilize the Burt. Just walk through him. Walk through this one as well. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Up. Get above him. Hey, good dodge. It's a Krush dodge. Krush. Shot right through the ring. And now we're fighting, I don't know, hash browns on a stick? I have no idea what that one's supposed to be. It's probably a, a delicious treat in Japan. I don't know, they don't really do fried foods in Japan, do they? Or at least not breaded fried food. I suppose there is some food that gets fried. Oh, good dodge! Look at that! Beautiful. Oh, good timing. Alright, so we need one more to get out of this area. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Oh, too early. Too late? Okay, just sit. Start hitting them. My patience has its limits, egg. Hit the... Ah, oh, I didn't get it. Got him that time. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. Alright, I don't know if this is the third one or not. We'll go in anyway. Uh, oh, gotcha. I don't believe there are any repeat enemies in this game. I think every one that you see is unique. I, I could be wrong. It's been a while since I played this. I like that the game tells you the room is empty by having a word bubble that pops up from nothing saying empty. Now, if they were being really funny, they would say empty, and then it turns out there's an invisible enemy in the room. pops up and goes, there's no one here! Oh, okay. And then you get hit. That wasn't me! I don't know why I never noticed it before, but there's skulls in the, uh, the dirt between the pipes there. <laughs> oh, come on. I know I've beaten this game before, but uh, it's probably one of those things where I definitely grinded for uh, health. Whoa! Come on. Okay. That was a bad idea. Don't 
don't know what that did for me. Alright, let's get up here fast, fast, fast. We want to get to the boss. Go, 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 go. I don't even know if this is a boss, but it's a room. It is a boss. Alright, so... This has got to be a Japanese thing, because it's a haunted well with a bunch of uh, ghosts around it, and it spits money at you. There we go. I go for some classic American and Hollywood-style monsters in this game, and I also go for some weird stuff that I'm sure made tons of sense in Japan at some point. Come on! I hope you have health, because I need health. Or you can tell me where the exit is. Can you tell me where the exit is? Okay. Nope. Come on. I don't want a home run. I want a, a ground-out single. There we go. That was a comebacker to the pitcher. Oh, you can swing on that. That's what I should have been doing. Line up. Come on. Or not. Out! Way too early. There we go. Alright, I think that's the exit right there. So I got one more chance to do this. Hoop. Come on. Get it right. Nope. Oh, too early! Oh, no. <laughs> that was close. All right, I'd love to say that we're we're gonna try to do a complete playthrough this game, but uh, I can't make any promises that I will not die in this level without significant grinding. So we'll get as far as we can, and if I die, so be it. That you can see the spikes up above. They're a little bit different color there. Oh, I thought I was breaking them. I'm not even damaging them, really. Come on. Empty. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. It's a bat. Ghost. Thing. Where'd the skeleton go? There he is. That guy has a severe underbite. And his friend is chasing. Come on. Get over here. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, so he does appear to have limits to how far he's gonna go. But this guy will not die. There we go. Got some health at him. I think this is where he's going to stop, so... Wait here. Oh, maybe not. Come back. I'm going to smack you in the head. Try to find Bert before we start this guy here, if there is a monster. Or we could just go in and try our luck. It turns out not every boss is easier as Bert. Uh, if they shoot in all directions, sometimes it's not necessarily easier. Oh. Or as you can see here, he just gets above and waits for you to come back down. I like that his big move is to throw cows at you. I guess that was supposed to be a minotaur of some kind. Okay, I apologize in advance. I do not know why that sound just chimed there. Ah, <laughs> uh, windows. What do, you, what do you do? What do you do about it? 
I suppose the answer is to switch to Linux or Apple, but, uh, no. No. Hey! Ho! Oh. Ha! He! Be another boss? Cool! Let's see if I can do some damage to him before I have to leave. Ooh, the music changed. It's... It's very Egyptian. Ah, beat him. Cool. Wait on this for a second. Listen to it. Well, that one note in the background. <laughs> Not great. I think that's a bat. Oh! It's an umbrella! <laughs> and now he's got a concussion. Now, because I've done it too many times, he now has CTE. All right. At least they let you swing your bat even after you get hit in the head like that. Uh, let's go down. Can I get back up? I sure can't. I hope there's something here. There isn't. <laughs> I like to think that what I assume is some kind of fungus growing off the roof is what's saying empty at that point. worried I wasn't going to make it through this level. I may make it through all three bosses. Not too, not too bad. They're not the best uh, difficulty balancing in the world for this game, but a unique aesthetic. And again, as I said before, if you're willing and able to just kind of grind for a little bit of health, the game is very beatable. Come on. It's like, yeah, the same enemy drops health every time. I would guess the same enemy drops pills at the same time. Excuse me. Oh, one hit. I don't know how that works. There must be, like, a sweet spot on the enemy. Oh, come on. No health out of him. What a jip. Oh, give me something good. Nope, nothing. No health that time, either. Okay, maybe there isn't a, a trick to the same guy's dropping health every time. Or maybe there's a limit to it, I don't know. Alright. Let's get to this jerk. Come on, give me some burnt pills. There we go. Uh-oh. Alright, can I get a boss? Yeah! I'll suck all your blood. I don't think that's what spiders do. Don't they normally inject digestive enzymes into their prey and then suck out what's left, which is some blood, but also everything else it dissolves? Also, I'm pretty sure what they do is not shoot X's at you, but I'm no uh, scientist or arachnologist. What do they call them? All right, look at this. We're making progress. I think I'll go until the next time I die from uh, whatever I face in this level or the next. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. I want to save that health if I can. Exit. Take a water break here. Oh, that's nice. I like that the password screen is a bunch of skulls floating in a river of blood. Kids game! <laughs> oh! Now, we may or may not get to the point where we can see this, but there is a, a Burt version that has a different attack. It's uh, like the, the beams he shoots out kind of like weave in and out of each other. Increase the uh, area of damage on his attacks. And I imagine if it was here, you would have seen it there. Okay. I would have sucked if I missed that jump and you couldn't get back up there. 
uh, probably uh, a burt of some kind in the uh, nearby area if you're supposed to go in there. Okay, you gotta let me hit you guy. Come on. There we go. I don't know if you can destroy these, or if you just gotta walk under them. Probably just have to walk under them. Yeah, that's right. Oop. Now, one of the things that I have not really shown off in this uh, game, I probably shouldn't have done this, I should have had them timed right, there we go, is if you lay in your tum tum, he does a little crawl. Look at that. Works the same with uh, Bert as well, he does like a little, I guess it's an army crawl. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. He did not want to take damage. Come on. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit! How did that not hit me? Let me up here! Elf. Very good. Snake. Not as good. Boss fight? Boss fight. I am a slowpoke. Now watch him be really fast. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not how samurais fight. They don't uh, throw swords at you. He is uh, moving very slow, so there's that. Oh, I beat him. And as with all uh, traditional samurai, once you beat them, they dissolve into a pile. Hey, there we go. I think it's very progressive and forward thinking that they decided to make Bert a pink uh, gargoyle. Nothing wrong with that. Probably also one of the only color channels that were still available because this game does use quite a few colors. Uh oh. And I actually think that changes. I think there's some areas where he's a different color. Boss? Hey, boss. And it's a cat. You know, that famous Hollywood monster cat in a box. I think he throws yarn at me. No, he doesn't. He throws cats at me. What a monster. <laughs> he's trying to hit me with his babies. See if I can't bat them back at him. There we go. Oh, I had the timing. Come on. Oh, oh, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Honestly, it seems like they had an idea that they worked with in the first level, and then everything after that it was like, I don't know, what's scary? Cats? Yeah, all right, make a cat a boss. <laughs> Actually. Here's what I bet happened. Japan does not necessarily follow copyright laws uh, when they design games sometimes. So, uh, for example, I think in uh, a couple of games for Sega Genesis, there was like a Spider-Man game. Was it Spider-Man? Or it was Batman, I bet. Uh, and they made a game where you could fight... It was Batman, but you could fight Spider-Man as, like, a boss or something like that. And, of course, that's against uh, copyright, so they, they replaced it with a generic enemy, I think, at some point. Okay, this is bad. This is bad! Oh, 
Ah, I'm dead. And I have a feeling in this game they probably had a lot of copyrighted enemies that uh, they could not bring over into the United States, so they just replaced it with whatever generic enemies the uh, developer responsible for replacing them came up with. So, here, make one fried food and a cat. The scariest of all the monsters. All right, I think that's going to do it. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the review phase for this particular game. Uh... Let's go ahead and do the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, the good, it's a unique and interesting uh, design aesthetic. You know, it's a very ghoulish, uh, gruesome looking game. Lots of skulls and blood and gruesome imagery, at least early on. Uh, I guess it kind of, the facade kind of falls away as you get into uh, later levels where it's just like, uh, yeah, sure, here's a cave and uh, you're in ancient Egypt now. I don't know what, what they were trying to go for there. Um, the bad, I think some of the enemies, the bosses, are a little bit cheese. Uh, you could see when I was just fighting that one enemy where it was like, hey, just the, the cat, the most recent one that we fought. Um, it, it, you just stood in one place and bat the cats back at him to damage him, the kittens, I guess. Uh, which, by the way, what kind of monster is hitting kittens with a baseball bat? <laughs> that's, that's disturbing. Which I guess fits the theme of the game. Uh, as far as ugly, um, we didn't get to see it. There is a level, fifth level, that uh, has a, a loop, a music loop, that is just poison to the ears. I know that it seems like all of my uglies always tend to be music, but uh, early on, you know, some of these chip tunes, it was hit or miss. And if they missed, they missed big. Uh, also, that particular level was uh, just a nightmare of. Uh, design because it's one of those you go through a door and you come out another door and you go through another door and you come out a different part of the maze and it's just there's really no easy way to guide that unless you have it memorized um, but let's go ahead and give this one a score we always score on a scale of randars one to ten i'm gonna give this game a six six randars um there is some funny and unique designs for the monsters in this game, uh, but there's also some rather generic ones and ones that just don't really fit the idea of the game. I almost get the feeling that if it wasn't copyright issues with some of the monsters that you see in this game, that it is something where whoever was designing the game did not communicate their overarching design idea to the rest of the team, and the team was told, eh, just come up with some random monsters to throw in there, and they started running out of ideas really quick and throwing whatever they thought was funny or, or different into the game, and it results in some stuff that's really not all that scary or even makes sense for the, the game, but uh, yeah, six, six I think is a good score for this game. Um, it is beatable, and I have beaten it before, but Again, I think that's heavily dependent on your willingness to grind for health in each level so that you come into a fight with the max. And uh, since there is no limit on how many enemies you can kill uh, to get health, uh, you know, you can just power your way through the entire game in that sense. But uh, I think there's better ways to use my time and uh, more entertaining games to look at or, or what, uh, ways to play the game than uh, what we could have done that way. So. Uh, I think that'll be a good look at the uh, game Monster Party. A fitting Halloween game, if there ever was one. So that's going to do it for this episode of Nubs Collection. Uh, as always, I do appreciate everyone watching these episodes, and I will see you next time.